As we can see together right now, live in the time, Bitcoin is currently rejecting from the last major higher term time frame level before we can get to all time high. This weekly is very big and important indeed. And I'm going to be talking you through live in the time right now, the order flow where we are seeing millions of new longs opening into the weekly level. I'll be talking you through that, whether that means that I am still bullish. I've been making it very clear indeed, right? I have been very long and chill, long and chill, long and chill chill, long and chill, not in any short trades, you know, just continuously going to sleep in no shorts, staying in all longs, expecting highs to come, you know, long and chill, repeating day after day, long and chill. You know, I've made my bias as clear, honest and transparent as possible. And of course, we can see that it has paid off very nicely. But the very important question that you're going to want to know now is, is this a short trade to be taken? So first of all, let me explain, you know, what, what this is that we're going into. You know, I love to trade off of higher term time frame levels. So I have my weeklies, my dailies, my monthlies. I love to combine this, of course, with all my other technical analysis tools. But this is what I'd say is my base uh, foundation. You know, I base my, all of my trades off of this lower, you know, level of foundation of these higher term time frame levels. So for me, this is a significant level and it is a big weekly. And so you might think, okay, Dan, you look at this. We visually see a rejection wick candle. We looked at the order flow. I've looked at the order flow myself. I'll show you right now. But we're seeing a lot of longs opening up into this level. You can see the previous candle, 26 million, now 3.3 million. You might think this is, wow, this is some trapped longs up at the very high wick visual rejection. You could do this, right? Enter a short now, stop loss above the high, and you have yourself a short offered a weekly rejection. That is an acceptable trade, but I am not shorting here. So let me explain why I am not shorting. I am in no short trades at all, right? None at all. And I am remaining on my longs. I am expecting this weekly to be broken. And this is comes down to when you see visual reactions like this, it doesn't always just mean you got a short. And this is a very good lesson for you. In the charts, Okay, we have lots of levels, right? We have lots of higher term time frames, lots of naked poorly control, lots of Fibonacci levels, okay? Different Elliott waves, okay, we've got going on, you know, uh, and good VWAPs, lots of different tools that we can come together and they give us lots of levels. And as a newer trader, I see this regularly, you know, people will come in, they'll mark out every single level on the chart, they're left with hundreds of levels. Uh, even, even myself, I still have, you know, quite a lot of levels. And what it comes down to is making a, you know, a strategy and understanding you shouldn't be trading every single level on your chart. You need to be aware of some of these levels. For example, the weekly, that is 100% a level you need to be aware of. But for me, it comes down to then understanding the context behind that level, okay? Reading the order flow, of course, as you come into that level and then using the context, the confluence, and you know that understanding together to make an informed decision. And so my informed decision here is this is not a short trade. Why in the previous candle we just saw, you know, over 20 million new longs opening. And what is this after? This is after, in my opinion, a little bit of, we could call it like a triangle that broke out, right? We had a bit of a triangle, constricting price action, breakout, back test, continuation to the upside. So in my opinion, you, we have just broke bullishly out of a, another constricting bit of price action, in what is overall a very bullish environment and in what my opinion is still got enough fuel okay to bring us up to i'm looking for all-time highs I've, I've been very transparent with this i'm, I'm really looking for all-time highs and so although you could have a short opportunity here and i'm not saying that we cannot retrace but what i'm looking at really even if we get a retracement would still be ending in a higher low that brings us up to all time highs. So what I mean here is this weekly is is an acceptable short if you're a very low term time frame trader and you're looking for maybe a you know one two percent drop to take profit one and then continuation. For me right now, I'm more focused on the swing trade higher term time frame. I don't think we're going to get a big enough retracement here that for me warrants locking in a short. So thus, I'm using my insights and knowledge I have on the market to remain patient. Now, honestly, for all time highs. So you know, don't forget this weekly, you know, <laughs> but for me, there are more important levels to be aware of. So let me show you, well, really simply what we got going on on maybe a weekly term time frame. So this is our weekly previous all time high. Obviously, we're around 5% away from it right now. So from current price, 
to all time high, you can see we're about six, 7% away. So there's still a long way to go. And I'm not expecting this to happen in one hour type thing. You know, there are pullbacks and that's why we say you know, weekly is our acceptable levels. If you're a lower term time frame trader, in my opinion, you know, there, there is an acceptable trade to be had there, right? But for me, I am focused on all-time highs. And for really, we can start to look at this as a, the overall range, right? So we have the overall range. We went from 69K, we went all the way down to <laughs> 16, uh, $15,000 and we put in a lower now. We're building our way back up to all-time highs. But really, we can view this as we view the very low term time frame ranges, right? So everything is a range within a range within a range within a range, okay? And so just as we traded the range a few weeks ago for, for a week in total, shorting the highs, long in the lows, shorting the highs, long in the lows, it was very successful, it gave us four trades and four wins that range. Um, we can still look at this on the higher term time frame as an overall range, right? So we look at longs at the lows, shorts at the highs. <laughs> I found this the other day. Look at this. This was this was tweeted when we were at seventeen thousand dollars, okay? And it was I've not felt this bullish in over a year. Many are going to miss out on this upcoming pump. What an amazing year 2023 is going to be for us traders. That was made at the 10th of January. Okay, that was when Bitcoin was at $17,000. Of course, we can see now over one year later, really how, how well did that age? Age like fine wine, right? Um, and so, you know, this, this just emphasizes, right? You've got to be looking for shorts up at the highs. And you will know I shorted $69,000 on the previous rise on November uh, 2021. Made its way down. Again, I wasn't extremely bullish at the lows, but I did manage to lock in a long from $16,000, $17,000. Okay, I've got many longs from lower as we built our way up. And, you know, you have to start to recognize the lower you come, you do have to get more bullish. And the higher you come, you do have to become more bearish. It doesn't mean short every rise and long every low on the, those biases. It just comes down to level of cautiousness, okay? So that's what I mean. At this weekly we're at now, you can be cautious. I wouldn't long, okay, into the weekly level, okay? So if we come back down here, you know, I'm not going to advocate ever, you know, I would not long here. For me, that is not an opportunity, not, not a trade. We have three trades. We have a long, short, or no trade. So we've hit the weekly. What is acceptable here? Is, it a, is, is a short trade acceptable? It, it is, if you are very low term time frame minded right now. You know, there's that, an acceptable trade. Long trade, no, I would never long here. You know, there's been the longs or long opportunities prior to this. You don't really long after over the past 24 hours, you're up 6%. You know, it's just, just longing in massive FOMO. So that's just not even an option for me. And then the option of no trade. And that's the one I'm going for. Why? Because for me, the long is too late. You know, I'm not interested in longing at $65,000 when I have longs from $17,000, $24,000, $30,000, $41,000. You know, my longs are much lower. Why would I long at 65K? It's just not a plan you're ever going to see me advocating. This might work today, but then at tomorrow, you know, it doesn't work. You can never be longing after such big moves to the upside. This is FOMO and late. So my option is, of course, no trade. Why? Because I don't want to take the long. I do think that we're going to go higher, so I don't want to take the short. So I have to remain patient for higher prices to come. Okay, so this is like my trading strategy, what I do. Of course, when we're looking for these higher term time frame levels, we're, I'm looking for all time highs to come, right? I've made this very clear. And I will say this very briefly before I move on. Uh, as I was saying uh, yesterday, you know, I'm expecting new highs to come on Bitcoin. This was my tweet. And in tonight, well, you know, yesterday, so in the Champions live stream, I was covering my higher term time frame, Elliott wave count of the all time high targets I have on Bitcoin. So really, just as I predicted and traded a short at $69,000 using Elliott wave, I have now tried my best to predict the next major all-time high on live stream. So if you want to see me do a full hour in look on Elliott Waves, where I have come up with my new prediction for all-time highs, I am expecting, yes, all-time highs. I have now got my prediction of where that will be. If you want to get that right now, it is available via chartchampions.com, the latest Champions live stream 247. I have done an in-depth Elliott Wave count and I have you know, recognized, I believe we're going to all time highs and where I think that target's coming in. This is a 
video of course just for champion members so if you want to get that elliott wave stream it is live right now for you to watch back via chartchampions.com of course via chart champions uh for the contenders right now and the champions you can have a daily live stream update where eagle right now is going to be going over the charts in two minutes uh going over bitcoin he'll cover a little bit of the stock market too right and he'll give you a daily plan. This happens every single day of the week, minus Saturday, uh, where you do have a daily stream covering the markets. Of course, on top of this, we have a full educational library. You know, you have the Discord where, you know, posts like this are probably very helpful, right? Still in long trades, no short trades, long and chill for higher. And then today we're up another, you know, nearly 5%. So, you know, we've been making biases very clear. We've been very transparent and honest in what we're looking at here. So, yeah, for me, I just wanted to do this quick video. Uh, I don't want to make it last too long, but I just really wanted to do this quick video to kind of give a, an explanation of why I'm not shorting here, even when we do have technically uh, a short trade setup with a reaction, how I'm able to use my understanding of order flow here and recognize we don't you might think these are trap longs but they're not trap longs the 23 million opened in this candle so they only really become trapped if we get down below really sixty three thousand dollars right so for me this is a sign of strength this open interest increasing, this high positive delta is strength after the breakout continuation of the triangle. So this is extremely important to understand. And, and people that try and view this order flow as too much black and white, you know, these are the people that will take too many trades and end up losing trades unnecessarily. So yeah, maybe I am no messiah, right? And maybe I am incorrect on this prediction and maybe we do fall down from here. And that's something that I would have to accept. Hey, I was wrong on this. And I will end by saying this. I think it's been very clear, right? For the past you know, few months, I have been very transparent, clear, and honest with my biases, with such predictions of, you know, being very, very bullish indeed. You know, you can go onto my profile, look through some latest tweets of mine, you know, and since the start of the year, back from October, right, I was saying like, you know, I've been 2024, I've been trying to be very transparent and long and chill, no short trades. This was back in October, November, the same, <laughs> December, January, February, now in March, you know, I've just been continuously saying long and chill, really expecting higher and higher and higher to come. And so what I say here is, you know, I, I have traded this pretty well. I, I have predicted it pretty well. I'm not trying to brag here, but you know, I, I have traded it well, but what I say is there will be a point where I get it wrong, right? So maybe that point is now, maybe I am incorrect and I do miss the short and we fall down. Maybe that is the case, right? It is a game of probabilities. So I just kind of, I would ask you this, just as I have consistently made a lot of people profits over the few months of this really nice uptrend. Uh, when that time comes where I am wrong, <laughs> please remember the consistency that I have had. And I just remind you that there will be a time where I am incorrect. You know, maybe we fall down here and this is the time for me to be incorrect. So I just hope and pray that you can remember the consistency that I've had, the profits that you really could have been if you've been listening closely, like following along with it, uh, making during this uptrend. And when that time does come when I'm incorrect, forget, don't forget about the consistency that we've had because there will be losses. I will get it wrong at some point. You know, I've been on a nice winning streak, but it doesn't last forever. I am expecting to lose at some point. Maybe that's now, maybe it's today. Uh, maybe it's not and we do continue to all-time highs as I'm expecting. And, um, you know, I just remind you and, and just remind you this is trading. And sometimes I think people can get this thing of like, wow, Daniel just wins every trade he takes this guy is just insane you know i am on a very nice win streak that is true but i am not uh, a god i am not uh you know able to just 100 percent call the market you know i trade probabilities i think i'm very good at reading the market the probabilities and the highest outcome of those probabilities and you know i haven't lost a major trade in a long time right so um but that's not to say i don't lose trades i do and that's not to say i don't expect to lose a trade because i do so i just remind you of that we've had some very good times but when you know potentially i do go on a losing streak just remember you know the the, the, the massive gains that we've seen prior to that right so uh yeah i think i'm going to wrap it up there i'm going to say thank you ever so much i'll upload this i need to do a quick edit so it's probably uploaded in about an hour i suppose 
And uh, yeah, then this video will be published on YouTube. Uh, so yeah, if you want to see more from me, you know where to get it and the rest of the Chart Champions team via chartchampions.com. This is where we got the competitions built in. This is where we got access to the best exchange deals and of course the whole educational library. So if you want to trade with the best, you know where to be right now, chartchampions.com. I wish you a very good day ahead. I want to say thank you ever so much, everybody. And yeah, for me, that is me signing out once again with a long and chill bias, no short trades at all. And I am expecting once again, higher prices to come. Thank you ever so much. Hope you've learned a little bit of how, why we don't trade every single level and you know how I read the context order flow to come to this trading decision. Thank you. Hope you've enjoyed and I'll catch you over in the Discord champions. Thank you and goodbye.